Welcome to Cretonia Entertainment. I'm Chris. I'm Bree. And I'm going into this video just as blind as Bree is. Oh. We're, pa oh. we're painting Captain Marvel. Wow. I, re I remember you doing this. Hey, Bree, what color am I painting? Blue. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't show it. Yep. Well, this is going well to start with. All right. Already off to our usual professional start. I actually painted this miniature so long ago. And uh, it's been weeks. It's been weeks since I painted this miniature. And I've had all the footage just sitting here. And I don't remember what I did for it. So anyway, we're painting Captain Marvel in our Marvel Crisis painter call uh, comic book style here. Uh, really, the color blue I'm using doesn't matter, if we're being totally honest. Um, I want to say this is the blue magic I think so. um, that I've been using on pretty much everything else. It's a Vallejo paint, as I've been using on these uh, Crisis Protocol figs. But honestly, the blue that we're using doesn't actually matter. Uh, what matters is that we're using a mid-tone blue. Now, there's an alternative you can do for Captain Marvel suit as well. Um, in Avengers Endgame, she wears the inverted suit in mm -hmm. the latter half of the film with the red and the blue. Uh, when she comes in and uh, pisses off good chunks of the audience for really no good reason, because, let's be honest, too much of the audience is a bunch of misogynistic pigs who can't uh, fathom the idea of a powerful uh, woman superhero. Um yeah, I put it out there. You're a misogynistic pig who doesn't think you can handle a woman superhero. Uh, go away. Don't want to deal with you. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go down to four followers now. But, that, yeah. but, that, but, but that, everybody but that's, left. But that's okay because we don't. We don't want that anyway. Uh, actually, I did have an issue with Captain Marvel in Endgame, and I think my biggest issue is that Captain Marvel took away uh, valuable screen time from Wanda. Because, uh, because honestly, and I know why you had to focus on on you know the original Avengers, you know, and and specifically Cap Thor and uh, Iron Man, because it was kind of their uh, their riding off into the sunset movie, and so they I, were expensive, and they were the most expensive. I I get that, but story wise, uh, Wanda had by far the biggest uh, vendetta to go against. Um, Thanos. Thanos. And yeah. you, you could say it was Gamora. And, you yeah, know, childhood trauma, yada, yada, yada. Gamora is, appears to have forgotten most of what Thanos did initially when he took her away. Um, so you could say it was Gamora. You could say it was Nebula because Thanos was abusive. But it, it was really Wanda because Wanda, you know, came, came to Vision or Vision came to Wanda or however you want to phrase it right after her twin brother was killed and all this other good stuff. And, you know, Vision was kind of part of Ultron in a way. And Ultron is who was effectively saving her. And was, Wanda had such a score to settle with Thanos, and it was very unsatisfying the way they played it out with her. But at any rate, we're moving on to uh, red here. This is the bloody red from Vallejo. Uh, again, any mid-tone or brighter red would be just fine. Mm -hmm. um, we could have gone darker. Um, but oh, By the way, this is what's, what's missing from the movie costume, the sash. The sash. She needed the sash. How, how she doesn't have the sash is beyond me. The sash is fantastic. Um, could have gone with a darker color if you want to go with a more gritty approach. Could have gone uh, any direction with this. We want, could have done the black and gold. We could have. Uh, but we didn't want to. I didn't want to. No. Uh, I want bright, flashy colors. Uh, and I don't want to deal with uh, the more another black costume. Oh, yeah. Because we've got, we've got Crossbones, who has a lot of black on his costume. Uh, we've got um, Red Skull, who you know has Mostly more black, black on his costume than red. Uh, this is the basic flesh tone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually pretty unhappy with this. Um, in the comic book style, doing the, the fleshiness on these characters has not been panning out the way I like it to when we're using the black ink at the end. It's creating these lines that just make all the flesh areas look fake. Uh, we do remedy that a bit in next week's video with crossbones. I still haven't quite gotten the flesh looking the way I want it to, but I did try something different that fits the comic book style, but is not just a flesh tone with black lines. But that's going to come up next week. We're not worried about that. Kevin that's Marvel's for a, next week, Breen Chris. That's for kids next can week, do everything. Chris, absolutely. So this is a, this is a pretty basic miniature. Um, um, we're going to do a comic booky style gold effect, uh, as we mentioned a number of times before. Uh, it's a a faux non metallic uh, metal, uh, mostly because we're doing a comic book style. You don't yeah. have metallics Metallic. in comic books, and you don't even truly have non metallic metals unless you're doing a hyper realistic style like um, uh, like an Alex Ross type yeah, of drawing. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But you, you do a lot of a lot of faux metallics where you're going to use. Um, Grays and golds and... Well, that's what you're going to do with non-metallics as well. But you're, I guess you're not taking as many steps as I guess what I'm yeah. trying to say. Um, you're not being as as dictatorial with it. But anyway, pick out your favorite mid-tone yellow. And your favorite mid-tone yellow is going to work both for her gold uh, and for her hair. And just pick out whichever one. This is, there's some focus issues here. Uh, Who was filming this? This, we need uh, a new, we need a new intern. Actually, I know what the problem is. And I, I almost don't want to take it away for these crisis protocol figs. The problem is the painting handle. Mm. The painting handle is adding so much additional mass in the frame that it's kind of screwing up the focal points. 
Well, you know, we're still also dealing with the, the in this one, because it was thought, shot, shot, the, so long ago, you still have the green. Well, the, the old background's not really causing the big problem. I also probably could have moved the camera a little bit to the left and had a better view in general. Um, but I, I notice how we're coming into focus a lot easier when the painting handle's almost out of frame. Ah, uh, yeah. It's definitely the painting handle. Um, I've had this problem in other videos as well. Uh, I really like using the painting handle for the Marvel figures, though, only because um, the Vallejo paint does have a tendency to rub off sharp edges. Mm. So if I paint the bottom part of the base too early, uh, by the time I'm ready to add in the comic book line effects and do the purple on the rim of the base, some of it has rubbed off from my fingers handling the base. Ah. Uh, now, I guess I could probably use uh, a piece of dowel, and maybe I'll do a tips and tricks video on painting handles. Uh, I haven't done a tips and tricks video in a while. This is the neutral gray we've used on all the rocky formations out of them in the, in the past. Um, so as we've, as we've talked about previously, this is more about um, the final technique than it is about the journey. Yes. We do nothing fancy in any of the journey videos. I'm actually surprised people are still watching this particular series, uh, because I've, I've really got not much else interesting to add to the comic book style. Um Except that you do get to see a cool way to paint these models if maybe you're not familiar. Or yeah, and, and that's and that's what I'm I'm kind of seeing some of these series kind of turning into is more of um, you know we haven't done a nap time in a while either, but more of like a nap time format where you and I can talk about things uh, and stuff and things, stuff and things. Uh, that, that might be a bit much for a single ten minute episode of stuff and things. Maybe just things in one and stuff in the other. Oh, okay, we can do that. Um, and. Uh, uh, Ratatouille in a third. I learned what ratatouille is the other day. Uh, you did. You I did. did. I've I've heard the phrase ratatouille. I didn't actually fully, I guess, know what it meant because I've never, I've never very, had it. It can be a very complicated dish. So we got a brighter yellow, and you've seen this technique before. We've kind of decided where the the light is coming from, and we're right. painting sort of diagonal lines, kind of at random intervals across everything that's supposed to be gold, um, to just kind of to pick up a faux goldness, a full a foldness. Oh. Hmm. No, that doesn't work. Nope. Didn't like that. I got a really good joke. Oh, no. I got a really good joke. Is it one of the jokes you've told me already? So a horse walks into a bar. I hate you. And the bartender says, hey, man, uh, I've seen you in a lot of you know bar jokes. Are, are you sure you're not becoming an alcoholic? And the horse ponders it for a minute, and he says, I think not. And then, poof, the horse disappears. I hate you so much right now. I hate uh, you so much right now. And for those of you who get it, you're you're probably laughing hysterically. Or groaning. For those of you, for those of you who groaning. don't for those of you who don't get it, I can't explain it because that would be putting Descartes before the horse. I but um but by the way, this joke came up because somehow our son's second grade math homework referenced both Newton and and Descartes. Explain that one to me, folks. Yeah, yeah. and they, well, it, that's not all that it refers. So this is pretty good. We're running out of time here. We're doing the black ink, but we're going to go ahead and go completely off the rails here okay. in typical Crotoni fashion because there's nothing I'm showing you you haven't seen before if you've watched any of these videos. Uh, so he comes home with this homework project, and the question on the homework is that Newton has uh, so many apples, and Descartes has 15 more apples than Newton, and you have to figure out combine how many they are. So they, they say to you even how many, uh, Newton has 27 apples. So if Newton has 27 apples, that that means Descartes with 15 more has 42 apples, which of course we know is the answer to <laughs> life. Uh, life and, and everything. Now yeah. we now we know the question. The question was how many apples did Descartes had? And what makes it even more entertaining to me is that it's Descartes and it's Newton and the number 42 pops up. Hopefully you all get that. If you don't, what are you doing here? Uh, but when you put together how many apples they both had, 42 plus 27 is 69. And I don't need to explain that. Just Google 69 rule 34. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Well, oh, what are we going to become? What are we going to become demonetized? Oh, I actually have a surprise in this episode. This episode sponsored by absolutely nobody. I'm just uh, about we to are, be like real excited. No, we're not monetized. No, no, nobody wants nobody to sponsor. Wants nobody to wants to sponsor. sponsor. We're this. we're painting a miniature. We're not even talking about the miniature, and we're telling jokes about Descartes and uh, sixty nine. Okay. Aye. Nobody nobody wants to sponsor this and I don't blame them. So here's basically what she's going to look like when we've got all the uh the comic booky lines. And I've said it before, it's actually quite impressive on this comic book style. It's a great lazy style. Oh yeah, that's me smacking the camera. Yeah, take that camera. Ha! This is a great lazy style of painting. Because for the most part, it doesn't involve any true highlighting. It's true. You can use yeah. you, so if you have only a few colors and you don't want to mix things, uh, and you can get your hands on. You didn't have to use the black ink if you don't want to. You could use a black paint. The ink I find is a little easier to control. But you can do uh, a single. Do it with a really fine sharpie. Probably if it's fine enough. Um, but you you make your your own shading using this really thick black line, or not really thick, but you know, really proposed, really proposed. Anyway, pronounced black line. <laughs> 
And you, you can block your colors without any real highlights. But anyway, Captain Marvel is now done. She's ready for our battlefield. We're almost done with the core set. Uh, like and subscribe for more content. Hit that bell button for notifications. And we will see you guys on next time. Bye! What Captain was Marvel. that?